Hello everyone, Dan here from the Next Issue Podcast. On today's video, I'll be doing a review for Geiger number one. This is a new book from Ghost Machine and Image Comics, part of the unnamed. We'll talk about that in a second. Uh, now, Geiger is a character in a comic that had been introduced previously at Image, uh, but this is all an all new relaunch for Ghost Machine. Uh, this is created by Gary Frank and Jeff Jones with colors by Brad Anderson, Rob Lee on letters, and a plethora of covers. You'll see some at the end of the video. So what's going on with this? Uh, this is, like I mentioned, part of Ghost Machine and also Geiger's part of the unnamed, which is kind of like this connection of heroes within our characters within the Ghost Machine universe. Uh, in this series premiere, it all starts here. The critically acclaimed team and of storytellers, Gary, uh, Gary Frank and Jeff Jones, uh, return to the nuclear wasteland of their best-selling Geiger and an all-new ongoing series starring the violent and unpredictable glowing men. Leaving his home behind, Tarek Geiger now walks the radioactive roads for the, of the former United States with his two-headed wolf, Barney. But as his enemies doggedly pursue him, Geiger discovers salvation from the unlikeliest of foes. But what secrets does this potential ally hold that could help Geiger? And exactly how many people are after the glowing man and why? Do not miss this vital action-packed chapter in the shared universe of the unnamed saga and the momentous ghost and the momentous ghost machine rollout. So yeah, we had already had a um, a series called Geiger Ground Zero. So this is definitely not a new character per se. Uh, but in in this world of like crazy kooky characters that they're building over a ghost machine, what more could you ask for than a radioactive man running around the wastelands of what was the United States? Like. That's just a bonkers concept that's really cool. All that brought to life by Gary Frank's amazing art. I'm a big fan of Gary Frank and a lot of his superhero stuff. Granted, I had not had a time to check out the Geiger stuff prior to this, but um, this was sold to me as an introduction to this world, so I didn't feel like I needed to. I'll probably go back and check out the Geiger uh, Ground Zero stuff, but I knew that this was going to be a good jumping on point. I can definitely confirm that. So. Um, and this is a pretty straightforward story. Uh, Geiger's not a very likable character. Geiger doesn't even like himself much, I don't think. Uh, so I'm very excited to see where it goes from here. Uh, let's take a look at some of the preview art here. And as you can see, Gary Frank just doing what he does best, and that's putting in really cool things on the page. Um, violence, for sure. Uh, when he throws the baton, the radioactive baton. Uh, I do like that Everyone here has to wear the mask because to show you that this is a radioactive wasteland, that you can't really be unprotected for a long time, and to show how fragile some people are. Uh, Geiger seems to be having somebody that's following him uh, dressed up as a, as a knight, which is interesting. Uh, I think you should read more into that. Now, are these books for everyone? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think that everyone is looking for weird crazy adventures like this that are going to eventually connect to something bigger uh but that's kind of right up my alley as a comic fan that's one of the things that i enjoy right these shared universes these characters that uh i, I think a lot of the ghost machine books are very art driven because they are bringing in super talented artists uh and i also want to see how everything kind of connects together so um overall Really enjoy this. Uh, you can also find reviews for Rook Exodus number one and Red Coat number one, which are the other two Ghost Machine books that premiered alongside this. Uh, and yeah, I'm going to follow this universe. I want to see where, where what happens next uh, because I quite enjoy this first issue. So if you have read this book, let me know what you thought about it down in the comments. As always, thank you for watching, everyone. Remember to share, like, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when we go live. That is most Saturdays, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Stay tuned. We have more comic reviews, trailer reactions, TV recaps, all that fun stuff in the channel. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.